Back in the days, we didn't have any social media. Either you win uh, to be known, or you do something incredible, maybe like a biggest jumps, or you're just uh, a joker like me. I don't know if you see, but I do my social media. It takes a lot of time, but how important it is to update everything you do in your life for the people who follow you and actually really enjoy it. Okay, I like Instagram because I can put the picture. I receive a lot of picture from the guys who are, um, I regram. As well, taking care of the Facebook page, who is getting pretty massive now, I think uh, over 310,000. Twitter and uh, everything. It takes a lot of time, definitely. But I think today is definitely uh, something really important because we can see today as well people who are actually making money. Uh, people who never raced. But because they take care of the social media and they put the video up there, and they have different followers, people maybe who are not, not interested about result or career of an athlete, but they like the content that this guy is delivering. And I think it's great, you know, like you're putting at the end of the day, mountain biking uh, in a different place and uh, you have different followers and I think it's awesome. And uh, it's just uh, a little bit of hard work sometimes. It all depends. Uh, Wi-Fi because obviously you cannot use roaming all around the world if not it would cost you a fortune and I know by the way why they don't put Wi-Fi everywhere then you can update a lot more stories and you can do a lot more live on Instagram because I want to do that I want to show more uh, live maybe soon I'm going to start to do those lives on Facebook because I hope uh, you guys will like it and I think it will be a lot more interaction between uh, you guys and me and I think it could be really good and I will be all around the world and I can show you it even more and I can talk to you all around the world as well we just need to find a perfect date and uh, every time I go to a place you can ask me all the questions you want back in the days we didn't have any social media either you win uh, to be known or you do something incredible, maybe like a biggest jumps, or you're just uh, a joker like me. You have fun and you try to win. <laughs> that was basically the only, or you just have a personality. And I guess I was a little bit of uh, this. And uh, yeah, we didn't have any social media. We had the TV, Eurosport was, uh, uh, was following us uh, all around the World Cup. And it was good for people who, um, who they could follow the live. But that's it. After it was really hard, uh, Eurosport uh, put out from uh, MTV. Uh, I think it was too many cameras and it was hard to film actually a full run. Like back in the day it was five or six minutes. Then we needed a lot of camera cables and it was just a little bit impossible. After we had Freecaster, it was really cool because um, uh, they started with Rob Warner. And uh, it was uh, amazing. It was basically no rules in a commentator booth. And I really liked that time. And after it get a little bit too serious, then um, it was a lot of beep, beep, and a lot of uh, F word not uh, being able to be used. And uh, that was a little bit missing, especially when Rob Warner <laughs> was a commentator. And uh, I'm glad, uh, f uh, I mean, Red Bull jumped in and uh, now you can follow all the races live on uh, Red Bull TV. And, uh, but before, we just had one channel, like Eurosport, and no social media. Now, with, between, if you're a good rider or amazing on your bike and have a character and you use your social media, plus those TVs coming to the race, like a Red Bull TV, you can kill it. But um, it's hard now as well. 
if you want to win, there's not much time to play around. And then you need to get super focused because the sport just got a lot more professional than it used to be. And everyone is hungry and everyone wants to make it. Then, uh, yep, I think some of the athletes, they prefer to be chill in social media and get focused on what they do. And uh, they do more in the winter, obviously, they film their training and uh, they have more time to take care of social media. Or some people have other people who take care of social media for them. And I know quite a lot of them. <laughs> what I could feel uh, for me, um, I was getting in the end of my career. Obviously, I was, uh, it was harder for me to be uh, on the top spot because uh, obviously you're getting older and uh, a lot of uh, young and uh, hungry person who want to take your spot and uh, training as hard as you can and one, in one point you have to face and you're getting older but I always loved the way uh, um, I was going all around the world for riding my bikes and I didn't want to change that at all but I wanted to share more and the social media for me was actually the best thing happened because uh, I could talk more to the people I started my CG fan camps all around the world and I could meet the people and I could share all those you're racing with them and uh, for the people who wasn't on those CG fan camps I could show them what I was doing and they could follow me and I quickly realized that uh, a big percentage of people who ride mountain biking was following me not only for the result, but uh, for actually sharing with me the beauty and the love of mountain biking. And uh, thanks social media because uh, it's a new step in my life and it's been the last five or six years. It's not easy, it's a full-time job. It takes me a lot of time, but uh, it's life, it's awesome, and I like it. I mean, it's not easy as well, you know, to open yourself to other people and uh, put uh, what, you, uh, what you do every day and, uh, and be interesting. Uh, a lot of people use it as well for only marketing, and uh, some people do to show their life. And some people do a mix of all of it. I try to do a little bit of all of it. You know what I really like about the future? I think in about uh, three to four years or may maybe even less, the internet is going to be so quick. Then we're going to be able to do live streaming all around the world. And if you like a rider, a sport, a motorcycle guy or mountain biker, you could actually follow him live if you have a super quick connection with a camera connected live streaming. Then you could be in your office doing your work and boom, you will see a window, then you can see, I don't know, Sede Gracia in Japan doing his run in Lagano live with a 360 degrees camera. Then you can turn it all around and you will basically follow your best, uh, the rider you like, the opposite of where you live, like let's say you live in Andorra, watch his run in Japan and you can actually turn around and see how the mountain is, how the road, the full run, and there's going to be magic. You're going to make travel to people without moving from the sofa. This is going to be super crazy. And why not in the future? You will choose your rider on TV with a number, a number of his plate, and you can do the full run of the world championship, let's say here in Andorra. You will have, I will be here, the race is there, I could be with my computer and see the full run or put my goggles on and have the full run of maybe the new world champion. This is amazing. I have an amazing feeling because this will be real because it will be happening in the same time. But you will see exactly from his eyes. And this, you, will see, you will get a lot more emotion, I think, especially when you pass the finish or someone will go skiing and go like big powder. This is going to be crazy. And I think it's coming even faster than what I think. I was probably expecting this two or three years, but maybe, maybe, maybe tomorrow. That would be good. That would be good for me because that's what I want to do. I will go all around the world. I will be live. I will have my camera 
360 degrees live streaming and everyone will be like Ooh, that's pure emotion nothing can beat that that's the future please hurry up i need more wi-fi everywhere <laughs>